Apple Watch has got what they wanted, a brand new wrist wearable called Watch, or Apple Watch to be accurate. The smart watch is the first new product since Tim Cook took the helm three years ago. For the launch, Apple chose the Flint Center in Cupertino, California, the place where Steve Jobs introduced the world to the Macintosh. The watch comes in two sizes with six strap styles, a rectangular screen and a variety of apps. The watch will use wireless charging to power up. It's figuring out the best way to get there now. Here we have Twitter with a notification coming in. You can see it's using the same layout as the original tweet. Health and well-being will be a major feature with an app called Fitness that monitors statistics for different types of activity, such as running or cycling. Data. The wearable will retail at $349. That's 269 euros and will be on sale in 2015. Right into Apple Watch. Cook also unveiled the new iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, both bigger, slimmer and curvier than previous incarnations. Apple has finally bowed to the fact that consumers prefer the larger screens. It comes after Apple described the iPhone 5 as the perfect size. Anything we have ever made. The phone moves deeper into mobile payments, which allows users to pay for goods and services. U2 hit the stage to perform a track from their new album, Songs of Innocence, free to Apple users on iTunes until October the 16th. Enjoy.